I'm Phoebe Boswell. I am a multimedia artist. My work centers around drawing, but I um, merge drawing with digital technologies. I use film, I use sound, writing, and also very much um, community participation. I think my work is anchored to an idea or a lack of an idea or a yearning for home, um, for belonging, and for how we see ourselves and each other. I'm very drawn to the notion of um, world building through a kind of deep participation and a perception of, of self and community. Being able to kind of build worlds inside oneself in order to imagine future places that aren't kind of dominated by systems that don't um, honour all of us equally. So this exhibition here, it spans uh, many years of making. Very much I wanted this show to um, document a kind of exploration around uh, the possibility of us all finding ourselves here. So in the main gallery is Transit Terminal, which I made in 2014. I drew these large totemic um, drawing sculptures. Um, of the backs of people in charcoal and on the inside of the structures which are the average dimensions of an adult coffin you find um, a, a bird a drawn bird in flight um, so when you stand from the one side you're standing very much in limbo and in and in the presence and in the solidarity with these people who might perhaps be refusing to be gazed at or refusing to participate or perhaps they're turning their back on a place and then when you look from the other side you see this migration of birds this kind of sense of freedom which i continued onto the walls of new art exchange and transit terminal is um, paired with another work um, i dream of a home i cannot know which is a many, 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 many layers of footage from this strip of beach in Zanzibar where my family live and I wanted to create this kind of mirage film um, with this quality of a place that is, it's real, it exists obviously, but it's just something that is somehow out of my reach. There's a moment where um, the camera falls and I've kept that in and so it creates this kind of turbulence so you're knocked out of the illusion of a place um, in the projection. I am showing for the first time um, the drawings of uh, a project that I did in 2019 called uh, platform which was moving image work for a railway station in Geneva. The project in itself was just um, I was thinking about how we see or sometimes fail to see each other and so it was just a, a simple premise of endeavouring for the time that I pressed record um, on the stop motion to endeavour to try and draw you as you wish to be seen. Most of the stop motions uh, were taken over about eight hours I would say so each one was about averagely eight or nine hours non-stop and yeah like it was it's a piece that really in the making like told me a lot about love as the objective of love is to try and see each other without judgment as we are and so using drawing as this mechanism to attempt to do that. And 
upstairs is Mutumia, which is a salute to women who've used their bodies to protest when they're not permitted to use their voices. It is an army of naked women who insist themselves upon the gallery space. Um, I made this work in 2016 um, with an amazing group of women who each individually came forward after I put a call out on social media for women to join my army. And we individually uh, went on this journey where we tried to explore what it means to protest and what it looks like in the body and all the different emotional states of protest. When each woman came to my studio, they brought with them such wisdom and such understanding of this work that, you know, they understood the point of it perhaps in ways that I didn't understand it. And I really wanted them to be physically present, but I also wanted their voices to be present, um, which then grew the work into a, an interactive piece where the floor is fitted with sensors and each of the sensors is linked to a soundtrack. So some are the voices of the original women. Uh, then I worked with a, a gospel choir called the Big Choir in London. Um, and I asked them to also do the same thing, to, to um, think of the different states of protest. So, um, strength and resilience and rage and anger and despair. The seemingly unsayable political problem in Kenya is the post-colonial dominance of the patriarchal <laughs> ethnic <laughs> whilst the ethnic variance of Kenya's patriarchal politics threatens the constitution <laughs> the bodies of women speaking from different horizons of political possibility create generative conditions of dissent and democratic The so, Mutumia in Kikuyu, which is my mother's tongue, um, means woman, but uh, some say it translates more directly as the one whose lips are sealed. Um, I don't speak Kikuyu, so when I heard this, I asked my mom, is this true? Does woman mean the one whose lips are sealed? And at first she said no, and then afterwards she was like, actually that is exactly what it means. And it was astonishing to me that in all her years of life, she'd never grappled with the fact that when she says woman, she's actually saying the one whose lips are sealed. And it made me think a lot about language and how important language is in shaping society. So if you live in a society where woman is the one whose lips are sealed, how does a woman ever speak? Over the course of this long, lengthy, <laughs> A prolonged lockdown, um, I created a new work uh, called I Want to Invite You to Breathe With Me, where I asked friends and colleagues and loved ones to do an exercise of breath work. Um, I was thinking a lot about the perilousness of breath, how breath um, due to COVID became this dangerous thing, uh, but also obviously a life force and a hope force. Um, and so I asked them to breathe for as long as was um, healing for them and also to talk about something to do with home. It creates a layered four channel um, sound piece that echoes through the room um, of breath. Uh, I think as an audience coming into the room, you feel very much the presence of other people, um, even when they're not there. I am delighted that I get to open 
the building, especially with this show, which I think we always wanted it to have this energy of communion. But I think that after having spent so much time alone and all of us having altered our lives, I hope that this show is some way healing to that, that we can just come here and see and sense ourselves.